And welcome back to Let's Say We Skin Snowboard. I just wanted to have another opportunity for a fun little ski lift ride. Uh, powder. Anyways, there is a back. Oh, hello. Snowman. Let's have a little entourage. Ow. But there is actually something else related to Viper that I want to do as well. In fact, there are two. I'll save one for later, I think. This one's kind of the conclusion of something else. Okay, no tricks for me. Whatever. But anyways... So around, so unfortunately back is quite a long course, so if you mess this up it's going to be kind of a pain. But there is something that you can access from here. It is another unlockable. Uh, there we go. Turn. Turn harder please. A little bit harder than that. A little bit harder. There we go. really hard to turn as hard as... Uh, Whoa! Sometimes you turn the opposite direction all of a sudden. Let's see if I can... remember where I am even supposed to go here. This might not be the right way, way I'm going here. There's somebody there. I don't know if I recognize that, that person. Yeah. That's what I was going for. That one's tough. Jumping over stuff. You're the one. I thought you were on um a falcon. Yeah, hi. If you would let me know. Why oh, do you have a plunger? Let me acknowledge you. Let me find you. Why can't I find you? There's no button for finding appearing. Game? What's happening here? Um. Okay. Why do I can't find you right now? Thank you, you are. You won't let me find him. Why can't I find him? I haven't found him already, have I? I guess you can, only, you can only find someone once, can't you? Like, for instance, if I go down here, I find that weird little girl. Or if I go to the weird little girl, I can't find her again, can I? If the find button won't appear. That could be it. I thought I had found... I didn't think I'd found that guy before. Oh. Actually, I should think that was the guy I was thinking of, though. I said I had uh, uh, the guy at the bottom of Falcon. Because it was actually the guy at the top of Falcon. Whoops. I misremembered. But yeah, I guess I already found that one. So I guess all the other eccentrics I haven't found are on the mountain. In that case. Uh, let's look at jumping across stuff. Jeez. Oh, I'll stop to jump across. So I only have two. I know there are three here. I'm using only the next one is yet again. Over in Hedgehog. Let's head on over to Hedgehog. I haven't found as many people as I expected here. Stuck in the snow though. I know you find a lot more in the mountain. Nice snowman. 
I think we're in kind of a matching red now. I don't know how those skis stay, at, stay attached to them, but whatever. Okay, so now this being a hedge, I'm probably going to have a hard time finding this thing. But there is something of interest here as well. Just have to keep a lookout. Another person stuck. All right. Well, I help him. I think I help myself. No. Get moving. Saw that light there. I was curious if that was a person or something. Up towards the top of the screen. So what I'm looking for, I believe, is somewhere in the trees of those specifically. We're kind of at the end already. Alright, well I mean I wasn't even in the trees most of that time, so that was probably my mistake. So let's see if we can I think that thing I might be looking for could be off to the right. <laughs> so, you think it's... You think I have a lot of stuff to look for now. I'm seeing a lot of time looking for stuff. Imagine what it would have been like if I didn't know where the things I was looking for were. I at least have localized one slope here. I think maybe in the trees here, for instance. Something like that. These aren't actually any things to see in most of these trees. Darn it. That's an easy way to find that ninja here. Ninja. Which I'm absolutely certain I found, but I'll at least make sure real quick. Well, I just now found what I was. Nice snowman. But what I found just now was what I was looking for. I already found them. Okay. So it's that little jump there which I managed to mess up. Which I think is kind of a peculiar thing to give a thumbs up for, but we're just doing what the game tells us to do. Alright, so I just I think I can see your trails from skiing earlier. Whenever you go back up a slope. But anyways. So off over here. And at some point off to the left. I don't know what it that's what my what I'm supposed to look out for as like a sign that I should. Not probably those. There we go. What? I'm certain that's it. Name, I'm just not giving the credit for it. So that's one of the things you have to jump over. The game might be kind of stingy about giving you credit for jumping over things sometimes, I'm not sure. It would of course be easier if I could get more speed than that, but a Hedgehog Woods is kind of flat. Towards the right. Because that's the uppermost portion. I have to go kind of uphill over here. Almost. So it takes a long time to get there too, and it kind of wears you out. But this is what we're supposed to do, I'm fairly certain. 
It's kind of annoying though, because you know that you can also try something. If you're supposed to do, and the game won't give you credit for it. There we go. Didn't need to give me credit the first time. So where are we gonna go next? What are we gonna do next? I think we have all the secret spots here, so I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. Front line, in the sense that I can't. Uh, I think we found all the people, all the, the jumps, I think. Are already taken care of? I know we have all the secret rails now. So as if I try to turn really hard to one side and turning as hard as possible to the other side. Without ever having managed to turn as hard as possible to the first side. Yeah, apparently this is a secret rail, so let's acknowledge that supposedly secret rail. Okay, so there are really two things to do here, I think. to go for the first one. Not quite. I actually know there are a couple things left to do. I think I'll check real quick. I forgot to fill out this part on my little list for some reason. Bet. And... Filled out my little list there. Okay. So there are actually two things to do, kind of. Well, all right. Where do you want to go? Um, let's actually start with. Where does this one go? Buffalo Falcon. Let's do that. Can you mode in here? Pretty good. Okay. So this one might be kind of obvious, actually. Even though I haven't done anything with it yet. But it won't be too surprising. I've even kind of talked about this specific thing. Let's have a, a run down Buffalo. And there are a couple... Job. There are a couple thumbs ups that you get by like doing certain, by going down certain slopes in certain ways. This one, I've probably kind of made obvious already, it's actually going through the slaloms. The way this particular thumbs up is named is actually kind of weird, you'll find. I think the most frustrating thing about this game and the thumbs ups is that it tends not to give you any feedback of any sort for anything, and there are no hints outside of the names of things, and you don't even get hints for what different kinds of objectives there are until you manage to accidentally stumble upon one of those objectives. So it'll be quite tricky. Okay, quick turn does not make you turn very much, evidently. I don't know what the point of turning is. Oh. And this last part is getting really slow on me. This one, like a person could actually reason to think themselves. I wonder if there's anything special about the slalom course here. And that's it. So that's what that's called, though. It's run between question mark, which is kind of weird. Are there things other than slams you can run through? Well, you'll have to find out next episode. So I'll see you guys next time, next episode. Of Let's Play We Speed Snowboard. Where we'll continue on our quest to go between things. 
this song that I'm about to next? No. How do you get to where I want to go? Oh. Cavalry boy. Anyways, bye everyone.